Before I say what I gotta say, <clears throat> where the fuck is Vegeta? Where the fuck is Vegeta? Please tell me, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing for every Vegeta fan out there, but where the fuck is Vegeta? Like, my dude, are you serious right now? No, wait, hold on, hold on, guys, because if you guys saw the the trailer for next week's episode, um, it's a Master Roshi episode, guys. It's a, it's a Master Roshi episode, guys, like our favorite character. It's a fucking Master Roshi episode. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, my dog. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Look, but... Get these characters, side characters, Roshi, Tien, um, Krillin type characters. Yeah, give them their five minutes of shine, three minutes of shine in an episode. But don't give them a whole motherfucking episode when they have there's some raw ass motherfuckers in this tournament to go at it. Fuck. God damn it. Y'all can't disagree with me, dog. Uh, Y'all rather see Master Roshi throw hands than Vegeta? Because if, if you do, then you can eat a dick. I'll tell you that right now, the fuck is wrong with you? The hell with your grandpa fetish ass? The fuck? Buff grandpa swole ass fetish ass. Listen to me, guys. This episode has some great fight scenes, man. Hit versus Dispo was freaking really cool to see, alright? Actually, I take that back. The fight was freaking amazing. The fight, the tension, it was there. It was there. It was there. The fight was uh, insane, honestly, and it was very cool and awesome to see a great fight play out. The, t the tag team between Goku and Hit was cool, uncalled for in my opinion. You could have had that crazy ass fight while and the Goku was having another fight somewhere else and then having them both come together. That would have been way cooler. But the way, the way it happened, it was, it was cool. It was like, oh shit, so I like that. Um, but when I saw Super Saiyan God... Goku in the trailer last week for this episode, I was like, they better give a freaking good ass excuse as to why this is the first time we see this form since the movies, alright? And they basically said it wastes less energy than blue and it's faster. But, what the fuck? Well, I take that back. He actually said that it was faster than Super Saiyan, not faster than Super Saiyan Blue, but I mean, this, that's still not a reason for us not to see that form until right now. I mean, we've seen Super Saiyan a thousand times. Why wouldn't he just go into this form? And just cancel out Super Saiyan. You know what I mean? I knew I was going to get some bullshit ass excuse. It opens the theory that can Vegeta do that too. Be pretty cool. I mean the manga confirms it right. But I mean two separate things. They're both going two separate routes. But dude. What the fuck. Right? What the fuck. Hit boss. Alright. I've liked Hit, Hit since they introduced him. He was a good character. It sucks that he's in a shitty Dragon Ball Super anime. But the character itself, the personality, and just everything about Hit is really cool. The Dispo fight and and, and, and seeing Hit adapt and and using uh, his t t tensing the body and fake to fake his opponent out that was really cool. We're using different mechanics and not, it's just not like here's a random key blast. Mine's just more powerful and you're out of the ring. No, it it it, it was really cool to see. Okay, but. You, you need to argue that there are so many other characters in this fucking tournament that could be setting up some crazy ass fights. I'm starting to, I'm starting to say that if the, if an episode doesn't have Android 17, it ain't raw. I'm done. Like, Android 17 is the rawest dude since the past, like, three episodes. And y'all can't disagree with that. Because this boy on Swole times 9,000, zero fucks given, people be transforming this motherfucker, whipping out the, the shalong and hitting people in the forehead with it. Simba in everybody. That's what the fuck he's doing. He's fucking Simba in everybody on the forehead. But the episode was good. It, it it wasn't it wasn't a bad episode. It was very entertaining. The fights were really cool to see. Um, Dispo and that other Justice Trooper. I can't remember his name. Used those wires or whatever. Not not wires, but you know his his move set was really ad, uh, adverse. It was really cool. It was really cool to see it. It was it was, it was cool. But. Even if I'm enjoying an episode, I need to stop and say, okay, look, where the real niggas at? Like, where's Vegeta? Like, y'all better be coming up with something crazy for Vegeta. Like, this dude needs to go. And let me say something right now about Goku's new transformation, all right? Originally, Akira Toriyama said that he wanted Super Saiyan Goku, the original Super Saiyan Goku, to have black hair, right? Like what we saw with the 
Wow, I can't believe I forgot this big Namekian's fucking name. Lord Slug. So, in that movie, Goku powers up and he, his hair goes kind of Super Saiyan-ish. Not gold, but stays black. And that, that was... Well, that was, was was originally intended, right? But then it, he said that they, they, if I remember correctly, Akira Toriyama said that they were in a rush in the Frieza saga to get shit out and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and it was easier and faster to paint the hair yellow than black. So they went with that. It stuck. Cool beans, right? So to see this new form of black hair, white eyes, and that aura, I'm not going to lie. I've always been a fan of that since uh, the, I think it was the second movie of Dragon Ball Z, <coughs> the Lord Slug. Uh, movie so I'm, I'm a big fan of it but come on bro in my opinion Goku does not deserve a transformation he has done nothing or is worthy of a transformation like he caused all of this shit like like dude what the fuck man like usually Goku gets tra gets transformation because he has to because it, it was not his fault that he was brought into a fight and and he just has to defeat the opponent to save his world. But he's the cause of all of this. He was the one that went to Zeno and said, hey, um, uh, you know, what's up with that fight? And then he caused all of this. Now, later on, they want to say that regardless, they were going to have to start destroying universes. Um, but because of whatever. But that's what it is, because of whatever. They had to justify why Goku started all this bullshit. So... I'm a fan of the form. It looks fucking amazing, but he doesn't deserve it. But Gohan is well worthy and and coming back as a character to deserve a cool transformation. Uh, Vegeta, bro. I hope they do something crazy. What can Vegeta just surpass Goku for once? It literally, and everybody would just get mind blown with that. Like these are plot twists that are with us from Z. Like this is what we want. Cool characters and all that shit. Thank you, Super, for giving us new characters, etc. But, dog, work on our old characters, my dog. Like, we are not going to see these other characters in the future from this arc and on. Maybe for three or four episodes in a team-up duo, but whatever. But in the sense, it was a fun, enjoyable episode to watch. But if, like I said, there's things that bother me. Like, where's Frieza? You haven't capitalized on Frieza at all. Vegeta at all. Goku's, Gohan has gotten some shitty fights. And anybody that says otherwise, bro, like, just go watch the Cell Saga. Or, for God's sake, just go watch the fucking Frieza Saga. And those fights just murk whatever's happening now. That intensity, that those feelings of characters, and it just everything in awe. It's awe, you know? Like and subscribe, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I have mixed emotions about this. Uh, Andrew 17 is a boss. Where's Frieza? Where's Vegeta? What's up with that fucking next episode of Master Roshi? Like, really? But whatever. Whatever. And Zeno couldn't even catch up with these people's speed? Like, duh. I'm done. Like and subscribe, guys.